Hi, are you like me? Do you have trouble getting up in the morning? Getting up in the morning is just the worst. Look, I've tried it all. Alarm clock next to the bed? Putting it all the way across the room? And everything in between. Fellow engineers, I'm here today to tell you that there is a solution. You're watching Blueprint. Hi, as you might have guessed, I'm building the ultimate alarm clock, and I'm going to build it from this puny alarm clock. Alright, I'm skipping ahead a little bit. Everything up until this point has been pretty straightforward. See here, this piece is the buzzer for the alarm clock, and since the alarm is going off right now, you can actually hear it. So over here on my beautiful oscilloscope, you can see what the signal actually looks like. Now if I wanted to convert this signal into just a flatline DC signal, what I would want to do is add this tiny 1 microfarad capacitor across the two terminals. And as you can see, the signal is now just a 1 volt DC signal. But why did I do that? Well with this straight DC signal, now I can replace this puny buzzer with a big kahuna. To get that extra oomph, I'm using a 102 decibel piezo siren from Radio Shack. Decibels are a bit of a weird... Decibels are a bit of a weird... <clears throat> <clears throat> decibels are a bit of a weird... <clears throat> decibels are a strange scale because every increase in 10 decibels represents 10 times the power output. 102 decibels while below the pain threshold is classified as extremely unpleasant. Supposedly, this is about as loud as a fire alarm, but I doubt it. This siren is made out of cheap Chineseium. I'd be surprised if it got anywhere close to that. Now I have my power supply set at 12 volts. This is supposed to be loud. Let's give it a listen. It's perfect. So I've designed a simple circuit so that now the piezo siren turns on when the alarm clock buzzer goes off. Here's how I did it. Here's the signal that comes in from the alarm clock, filtered with this one microfarad capacitor. The signal is used to gate this power transistor, and the power transistor switches on and off the piezo siren. So now I should have this set up to work with my alarm. I guess I'll try setting the alarm for uh, some time that's about to happen. So let's set the alarm for one... Ah, I forgot to turn the alarm off first. Also, while we're at it, why not hook up the strobe light I made in my previous video? Because when my ears are bleeding, I want to have a seizure too. If you want to learn how this strobe light works, please check out my other video where I do a very in-depth explanation of this strobe light circuit. The link to that video should be up here somewhere. I, I, I don't know, I, I haven't finished editing yet. These circuits were pretty easy to interface. That's because the piezo siren is 12 volts, just like my strobe light circuit. That's interesting. It's almost like I planned that. Oh, yeah, I forgot to isolate my strobe light from the piezo siren. I'll fix that in just a second. Okay, I think I fixed the circuits that will work now. I hate this project. What's wrong with this thing? There, I'm done. That is the worst thing I've ever heard. I really don't think it's power is helping people wake up in the morning. It's real power is preventing people from ever falling asleep in the first place. And I don't even think I could handle this. 
every single morning. You know how I recommend getting up in the morning? Let nature take care of it. Mother nature, that is. Ah! Oh good, I see you're up. Here's your clothes. Be downstairs in 15 minutes. Thanks, Mom. Thanks for watching. I know you enjoyed having your ears destroyed as much as I did, because my ears are shot. If you liked this presentation, please let me know by leaving a like below. And if you would like to see more of my content, go ahead and subscribe. I thought I'd turn that thing off. Hate snooze buttons. Uh, where was I? Oh well, I I'm sure you knew where I was going with it. Thanks for watching. Hi, so I already know what I'm gonna do next week, but I want you to help me decide which project I should prioritize after that. I'll have a poll somewhere in this corner of the screen. It'll be up here somewhere. But if you want to see one thing over anything else, please let me know and I will push that ahead on the list. Next week is actually going to be a video that my brother made, and he made a feature film length lecture on differential equations. And all I can say is good luck, because I'm the one who edited it, even I don't think I made it all the way through in one shot. After that, it's business as usual. Remember, stay safe and have fun. Oh, and wear ear protection.